up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today we are gonna be doing a little foam cannon review. I just got this new MJJC, focus on car care, foam cannon pro. And I'll have a link down below. They did send this one out to me, so see how this works. I have a couple other foam cannons. I've done quite a bunch of uh, different reviews on pressure washers and things. We're gonna be using the XPS. 3000 Extreme, uh, which is one of the newer versions of the Sunjo products. Uh, the older 3000 is a good one too. Uh, and then I also have this little guy. We'll get up to the little guy as well because this is kind of a really entry level pressure washer. Not to say that this one isn't either, but this one's like, you can see the size difference. Not that that totally matters, but uh, this is, I think, pretty inexpensive. And we'll kind of see how both compare on this new foam cannon here. And what's really cool about this one, is it comes with uh, the accessories already. 0.3 millimeter orifice. I can already pretty much tell you that it's not gonna be ideal for my pressure washers. We're gonna want a 1.1 millimeter orifice. That is the size of the hole that it's spraying the water through. Uh, also, it does look like it's coming with a couple of these little um, mesh filters. We've got a little ball on here to kind of Keep it dangling down in the bottom of this foam cannon pro. Let's see something real quick. So we got a plus and minus knob. See where we're kind of at. All the way to the plus. It backs off to the minus and that sort of thing. And then we have the adjustable fan blade in the front. You can see how it opens the fan there uh, when you spin it. And when you spin it the other way, it closes it down. So this is how you're gonna adjust your foam spray pattern. And we'll kind of just figure out what works best for the foam cannon itself. Another cool thing that this came with is the uh, quick adapter. I'm using the uh, quarter quick adapt. They sell this particular foam cannon with different accessories. So depending on yourself, you can pick the correct setup. We're just gonna be putting on this on the end of a wand. We're gonna be using the Koch Kimmy, excellent for experts, uh, the GSF, gentle snow foam right here. I already have a pre-made batch in this Amazon special foam cannon right here. Uh, we'll try to use the same stuff. So I did 120 milliliters of this soap and then I put in water. The water is cold now. Uh, if we don't experience you know, our favorite outcome, We'll, uh, we'll change it up, but we're gonna try it with the 1.3 millimeter orifice first in this, and then we'll switch it up. And then we're gonna be washing up the Porsche Macan Turbo. It's pretty gross. Uh, we'll do a quick rinse real quick, and then we'll douse this thing with the foam cannon. I like to give the car a good pre-rinse with a 40 degree nozzle. If you guys are unaware, basically the snow foam is, you know, it's basically to lubricate the paint and put soap on the car and all that. But when you use a brush on it, you need some sort of lubrication. The snow foam looks really cool. It just gives that shaving cream effect and that's what everybody loves. So real quick, uh, we'll switch this out with a 1.1 millimeter on the Amazon special foam cannon. Let's see how it does. Not too shabby as far as suds go there. Um, comes out, you know, at a pretty decent rate. This is good lubrication for your vehicle. It's on there, it stays on pretty nice. So we'll spray that off. We'll transfer the same contents in to the new MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. Straight over, I feel like this is the fairest way of doing it. That way you can say, oh, well the solution wasn't the same or, you know, something like that. No, it's the same exact stuff. So right off the bat, I am noticing, what do we have here? We got a thousand milliliters and this guy, a thousand milliliters as well. So it is the same, but I am liking the design of this. Look at the little ball here. Look at the ball, how it just kind of sits down in there. And then this has, this has a nice setup. And try it out, see what my first impressions are. Already I can tell it actually seems to be a little bit thicker. So let's dial this thing in. We have the knobs on the top. That right there is more water. That right there is more soap. Honestly, it's, it's already looking much thicker. And then we can dial in the fan at the front. I'm actually really excited to put the um, I'm excited to put a 1.1 in there. Wow. 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 
That is very, very thick. Like I know everybody's gonna be like, well you sprayed it in the same spot. Yeah, I did, but like, look at how thick that is. That is awesome. So let's spray it quickly on the car so you guys can see. All right, now, now I see what you're talking about. <laughs> now we can, uh, you know, now we can tell the difference here. Let's spray it a bigger part quickly. That is pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. I'm actually really impressed. I, I honestly didn't think it was gonna be that much better. Like, I thought it would be pretty similar. I think this is the 1.3 millimeter orifice. To change out the orifice, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just basically take off the quick adapter in the back here. Nice brass construction on this. I'm, I'm really liking it. It did use quite a bit of soap here, but that's okay. I've done videos on this before. Uh, I kind of call this the mod, right? So we do the 1.1 millimeter mod, but you know, this one's obviously a little bit more expensive. Does the other one work? Yeah, it works just fine. Uh, but thicker foam is kind of, you know, it's got that look that everybody wants. Does it really matter? Eh, maybe not, but when you get that look, it makes you satisfied. Do you know what I'm saying? It just makes you feel like, all right, that's what I, that's what I paid for it here. You see that? I'm just kind of setting it in there. And if it's worse, we'll put the other one back. They're not numbered, and I didn't really see it in the instructions, so make sure that's set in there well. And we can reinstall the quick connector piece. Let's see if it's any better with this different orifice. So let's dial it. I think it's better. I think that, uh, I don't 100% know, but I can tell you what, that is some creamy stuff right there. Look how freaking thick that is. Oh my gosh. I've never had snow foam that thick, even with my gas powered pressure washer. So I'm super impressed by this. All right, let's go ahead and wash the car. Uh, we'll spray the whole car down and I'll use my other little favorite tool. I've been loving using one of these little uh, microfibers, but on a um, on a little, like a little extension pole, because man, can you clean a car quickly. So let's spray the rest of the car down. Uh, we'll make sure this thing doesn't hit anything. Look at this. Look at this foam. Look at the foam, so thick. I know people are gonna be like, you're scratching your paint. But dudes, that is so good. All right guys, so I'm gonna wash up the rest of the car. Link down below if you guys wanna pick this thing up. Wow, it's good. I'm super impressed. Springtime's right around the corner. I was gonna try it on that other one. Do you guys wanna see it on the other one? All right, I guess you wanna see it on the low powered one. So we'll, we'll put it not on the Sun Joe, we'll put it on that real cheapy pressure washer over there. We'll see if it has the same results. We'll take out their little quick connect here. We'll throw it in. One thing I did notice, uh, it, do, it does use quite a bit of the solution pretty quickly, but obviously I was going heavy. There's no need for suds that thick, besides the fact that they look cool. Let's see how it does. Okay, we're pretty much out of the solution. But as you can see, I, I think you could hear it, that it, it doesn't sound or kind of output as thick, but it's it's very close. It's honestly very close, and I'm, I'm actually really impressed with that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, refill this thing up. I am, I am super impressed by this snow foam and honestly super impressed by this. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I'm really stoked on this upgrade. So later guys and wrench on.